In this video, we're gonna go over five Blender tricks that'll make your life much easier. Number one, applying scale. When you scale an object, such as the default cube, you're not actually changing the dimensions of that object. You are simply adjusting the scale. While it doesn't matter all of the time, it will affect future commands. Let's say we scale an object and now we want to add a bevel. If we don't apply the scale, the bevel will look skewed. To fix this, before doing anything else to our shape, we'll want to apply the scale. We could apply the scale by going to Object, Apply, Scale. Now, when we add a bevel or do any other modification to our object, it'll look much better. Number two, setting the input settings to emulate numpad. An easy way to change the viewport camera angle is by using the number keys on the top of your keyboard. However, by default, this is turned off. To turn this on, go to Edit, Preferences, Emulate Numpad. And now you can easily switch between front, top, and side views by using the number keys on the top of your keyboard. Number three, merge by distance. Sometimes, when you're editing a mesh, things can get messy. Fortunately, there's a command called merge by distance, and this will help us clean up our meshes. Let's say we have a default cube, and we accidentally duplicate all of the vertices. Now, it may look fine at first. However, if we move a vertex, we can see there is a problem. These two vertices are overlapping. To fix this, go to Object, Clean Up, Merge by Distance, and you could even adjust the threshold. Now we've officially cleaned up our mesh and removed any redundant vertices. Number four, the dreaded I accidentally moved the 3D cursor fix. The 3D cursor is the point where new objects are created. However, when you're editing a text object, you can accidentally move the cursor by simply clicking. To move the 3D cursor back to the world origin, simply press Shift S and go to Cursor to World Origin. And finally, for number five, we have a two for one, Orbit Around Center and Auto Depth Settings. These are quality of life settings that will help you navigate the scene easier. Go to Edit, Preferences, and Navigation, and check these two checkboxes. Now zooming in and out will be much smoother and rotating around objects will be easier. My name is Steven, the creator of 3D Printer Academy, and I hope these quick tips help you in your 3D printing journey. Thanks for watching and happy printing.